Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of J. Smith Plays MS Paint. I almost said J. Smith draws MS Paint, but then I would be just be drawing the MS Paint. Hmm, can I do that? I don't know. Probably not. Regardless, I am J. Smith, and I am on the internet. Thank you very much for joining with me today. I am going to be drawing something, 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 something from video game history. Um, today, I'm going to be... Something I'm not completely aware of. This is, this is... All right, so... First things first, I was, I was going to draw Crash Bandicoot, so I went to Google, I was like, Crash Bandicoot. And then I found this image of not Crash Bandicoot, but uh, someone else from the from Crash. This is Dr. Neo Periwinkle Cortex on a go-kart. And I saw that, and I said, Josh, if, if you don't draw this, how am I ever going to love you again? And I said, you know what, you know what, self? You're right. How could you ever love me again? So we are today going to be drawing this this masterpiece of a, of a of a of a thing. So here is J. Smith draws uh, Doctor Neo Cortex, the uh, the arch nemesis of and creator of of uh, Crash Bandicoot. I guess that's what I read on the wiki. I don't know. Um, okay, so 15 minutes on the clock. Three, two, one, go. All right. So the first thing that I notice about Mr. Cortex is that he's a pale man. So let's see how this looks. Is that a proper? No, let's. I never like the colors that they give me. I think they're always a little bit off. Um, so we'll get a custom color and we'll use our. There we go. I think that looks pretty fine. So let's get the scale down. So his head is massive. He's got a big old head. Um, but I need room for his hair as well. So if we did this, kind of smushed it in a little bit, um, we might have room for everything. Um, then down here we'll have his gloves, two, three, four, um, and wheels will be, mm, it's kind of, it's kind of, all right, so here's going to be one wheel. We'll have this be one wheel, and then this back here be another big wheel. So it's kind of like it's there, and the same for over here, I think. Um, one, and then the other one's in the back somewhere. All right, so I think that's a good basis for now, uh, and we'll 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 edit and, and see what we can do as we get there. But for now, I think that's a that's a good start as any. So let's make this bald, magnificent man. Well, he's not even bald; he just got big old bald spots. Um, but we'll fill this in. I never was a big fan of Crash games. It's not like, oh, okay, so the reason I'm not a big fan is because I really did, I never had a PlayStation 1. I was an N64 child. Um, so in my household, we played uh, Super Mario, not not uh, Crash Bandicoot. So that, you know, I, I apologize if I'm offending anyone out there, if I'm offending anyone's nostalgia and childlike wonder. You know, I don't mean to do it. That's just the way I was growing up. Blame my parents, but don't, because I'm glad that they Got me on the Nintendo wagon. It's, it's a good wagon. I liked it. Um, let's get back to business here. What kind of hair do is is this thing? It's 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 weird. It's strange, and I love it. It's like a unicorn of hair on this man's head, and it's beautiful. I want to when I get bald. If I ever get bald, I think baldness doesn't really run my family, um, which is a good thing. Uh, you know, we get, we get a gray hair, but no one's really too bald. Uh, I say that now, but then in a year, pfft, all my hair is gonna come off, and I'm gonna be like, the, you know, Southern Lion or something. Uh, if I move, alright, so let's just squiggly out here, basically like that, and bring it back in, and squiggly it some more. Squiggly. And that is good squiggly hair, wonderful. So we'll fill this in. He's got, ooh, man. I don't understand what goes on in his mind when he wakes up in the morning and he does this to his hair. I just don't think it's right. I don't think it's it's natural. It's not it's not jiving with me. I'm just gonna move this so like it looks like I'm looking at the screen. How about that? Um, can I move it? There we go. Okay, wonderful. Now, so it looks like I'm looking at you, but I'm really looking at this. But I don't know. Regardless, here it comes. Fill this in just like that. Uh, I only got 10 minutes left, so let's hurry up and get the other side of his head ready as well. So we'll do squiggles and then squiggles and then squiggles and we'll come back in. Wonderful. Uh, and I'll fill 
these in more naturally when you know we get time if I get time by the end I think I should um, but now it is time for his eyebrows so we'll get those in here big glorious bushy eyebrows yes please and thank you and he's kind of got like two over here he's got he's got the top top eyebrow and then got like the lower top eyebrow I don't understand how that occurs in life but you know kudos to you dr. cortex for figuring out the the, the secret of you know unlocking two eyebrows on one face um, big ol N like that's that's also weird he like his name is neo cortex like you would think he'd put like a C on his face and not an N maybe that maybe there's something in the history in times of of Crash Bandicoot that symbolizes you know the ends in prominence maybe it doesn't even stand for neocortex maybe it stands for like I don't know nuts big old nuts this kind of looks like an M a little bit so uh, but there's nothing I could do about that you just have to believe me that this is a N N N N N N is, it, is that is it, is the letter losing its meaning for you yet if I just keep saying N over and over again I don't know um, all right so He's got like these weird kind of like purple outlines to his eyes, so I'm gonna definitely make those. Well, I guess. Oh, butts. Um, let's do that. And he's got it on like both sides. This side's like twitching. It's really weird. So one, and then we'll bring the other one. Just uh, I definitely gotta make it smaller. Okay, so that's good. And we'll color this in with white. Thank you. And this one too. And I'll just go back over them again with the uh, the purple, just to make sure that it looks fine. I don't know why I did the uh, the purple first. Maybe I just wanted to kind of like outline where they would be. Um, that's a little bit too dark for me. So there we go. That's better. And he's just got little tiny beady little eyes. So there's one. Actually, you know what? This might be. The, uh, the part in the story where I actually use a uh, the, the the tool here. So let's get... Uh, that's not even filling it in. It's alright, so F it. F that tool. Let me give, give, me, give me a good old brush. We'll make it large and in charge and just do this. There's one and the other one is like there's two. Wonderful. So there's his weird eyes. Um, and they're crying. These crying eyes I've seen a lot, but they've never seen really anything like this guy's face before. Uh, now, we need a little bit of a darker color for his lip here, so it's got that jet... Oh, why does that... Alright, so there's that, there's that, and there we go. Alright, so his lip is jutting out like that. His jawline, I guess. And kind of goes up and over. I have no idea what this is going to be like. All right, so that's fine. That's dandy. We'll color in his teeth here. He's got nice teeth for like a mad scientist. You know, he uses a lot. You know, he brushes his teeth. He's he's hygienic. Maybe he's a dentist. Maybe he's not really a scientist at all. He's just a really good dentist, and he takes care of himself. He flosses uh, all the time after he brushes. And now beard is going to be coming into play. He's got this Fu Manchu going on, so color that in as best as we can. His, although, I guess his jaw goes in front of his beard, which is interesting. Um, but it kind of like pokes out back underneath somewhere. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get his facial hair at all. But here it is in all of its glory. And how about we just get big honking there we go. That actually kind of looks better, really. Um, just like that. And now with the smaller brush, we'll add in like all those details and stuff. Good. So there's that. Um, okay, so the rest of his body um, is going to be a treat. He's got these, I don't know, big old shoulders. Shoulder, shoulder pads that kind of poke out, which is strange to me. Um, he's got black behind that, so we'll just color that in right there. And then he's got these gloves 
Like, he's gonna go do some dishes. He really likes dishes. You know, Jay Smith likes laundry. This guy likes doing dishes. Um, and we'll fill this all in with just yellow, and I'll add some details in after that. So just fill this with yellow, and I'll do his fingers up here at some point. So there's that, and now finger time. One, two, three, and four. That's good. Uh, and more fingers over in this direction. Once again, I'm just going to kind of color in a block, and I'll make all the fingers and everything uh, after that. So there's that. And I've only got five minutes left, so I'm kind of I'm speed running now. To, and then this one is kind of going around what I can only tell as a wheel right here. So is this even the blackest that it goes? It doesn't look like it, but it is. All right, so this is a wheel. Just pretend. Use your imagination here. Uh, now, the color of this wagon is red. So let's do this. And we'll even get the bigger brush. I've never played Crash Team Racing, but I hear it even rivals, like, uh, the... the uh, why can't I think of Super Mario Kart? Yes. Uh, I hear, it like, it's really good. I've never played it. Um, I'd be surprised if it was as good as Mario Kart, but, uh, you know, if, if people like that and they think it's a good game, then, you know, more power to them. I need a yellow or a gold right here. Um, and a different size as well. So this is just going to be those and the pipes that kind of go up, down, and all around. Great. Now, wheels. And I guess I should probably fill the rest of this in with a little bit of red so you can maybe tell what it is. Doesn't really kind of work this way in the image, but that's how my, my mind is perceiving the rest of this cart to kind of go. Now, he does have a wheel right here, which I guess his foot is on. Um, so if we, or not, a, a pedal that his foot is on. So that's the pedal, and this is his foot right here. It's a really, s probably uncomfortable position that this guy is racing in. Uh, and we'll get the other wheel down here, I guess. It, well, it's weird. I guess it's back over to there. So that's his wheel behind him. Um, he's got an exhaust pipe that kind of shoots out the back. Um, you know, I've seen my fair share of exhaust pipe shooting out the back before, so this is definitely one of them. And we'll color this in, just like that. Good. And it's even got this kind of roll bar cage going behind it as well, so that is going to be important to draw. This is a pretty interesting drawing, I kind of like it. Uh, it needs, it needs like the chrome wheels, so let's add some chrome there and fill in the rest of these tires with these with this black and even if it does have like lines on it that's fine it's dandy and we'll see if I can get some chrome looking things on it not really but I think it's close enough and like that Okay, good. Um, now he's got this little, I don't, I guess, like behind him or on him, he's wearing like this purple kind of color. Um, how about I make the gas pedal look a little bit different too? It kind of, you can't really tell what it is. Well, maybe this is his foot that I was supposed to be drawing. This is the, if that's the gas pedal, then I don't know. This, this, this place has got. I don't interesting it's a, it's a very interesting uh, image to to say the least so let's fill this in so it kind of comes down like that I don't really know what it's trying to accomplish there but that's his cart and it kind of comes up we'll finish up with his wheel here and I guess it kind of has a yellow in the background I don't, I don't maybe that was his fingers those your fingers or what, bub? You gotta let me know. So, okay, so I remember what I wanted to do. I wanted to fill in some of his hair again. I like his hair. Um, it's all weird and bushy and makes me laugh and giggle like I'm, um, you know, back in uh, school child days. 
So we'll fill in that. It's going off in random directions on tangents. It's swirling, it's twirling. My hair swirls and twirls as well. Um, you know, every once in a while, if I don't take care of it, it becomes like a curly mess. Kind of is today. No, not really. I don't know. But it does definitely have like these weird kind of curly Q things. Eh, whatever. Pixel says that she likes it, so I'll, I'll keep them, I guess. Actually, I do like my hair longer. I, I always grew up with short hair, and, um, you know, obviously I you know, had a bunch of haircuts. It doesn't come in short and, and stay short, but uh, I, like, I like growing it out. I don't think I'm going to get my haircut ever like this guy, but it's nice to know that if I ever wanted to, you know, I could maybe do that with my life. Um, I could grow up and go to clown school or something, I suppose. I love it. That's what he looks like. Um, and I, I think that is going to be Dr. Cortex here for the most part. I guess I can give him a little bald, shiny spot up here. Um, like the sun is shining down on him. There we go. Uh, maybe I can color in the background. I'll give him a nice purpley color. If I did that and that. Yeah, that's not too bad. Um... And I think that is basically going to take us to the end of this. So that's like two drawings in a row that I got like to the end before I was actually done. Um, not bad. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. But uh, regardless, thank you all very much for joining with me today. I am Jay Smith, and I am on the Nut. You can find me here every single day. Uh, YouTube.com slash JaySmithOTI. After that, follow me on Twitter. Twitter.com slash JaySmithOTI. And Twitch. .tv slash jasonmithoti for all of my live streams. Thank you guys very much for joining with me again, and I will see you back here tomorrow for another episode of uh, anything I put on my channel. Thanks, and I'll see you later.